Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So I've wanted to share today's design with you guys for a while, and I've held off because you know how much I don't like trinkets or just decorative things in general. And you know, from a 3D printing perspective, I do find a trinket as whatever the hot new cool thing is that everyone's printing on, you know, the 3D printing subreddit or Facebook or Thingiverse, that doesn't serve any purpose. They're often multicolor objects. They're cute, don't get me wrong, um, but they go in the garbage six months later. They don't serve any purpose. I'm into 3D printing much for the, the design and, you know, prototyping or just solving problems aspect of it. Uh, but I do want to share these with you guys because from a functional perspective, it truly is something that I use every day. And every time I sit down and grab one, I think, you know what, I should just do a video on it. So that's what we're doing this week. So what these are are coasters. And this is the first set of these that I ever made. These are probably five years old and I can actually see they're quite dirty because um, <laughs> they do get used every day. This is the set that sits in our living room. And I didn't originally come up with the idea for these Doctor Who coasters in this case. Uh, I found this design on Thingiverse, and I'll, I'll look up the original author and link that down in the description below. It wasn't this size, it was a bit smaller. It was probably the right size for like a can of beer or a can of soda, too small for a glass. So the first thing I did after I printed it was uh, just adjust in the slicer the, uh, the width of the coaster and the height of the coaster uh, to be this size and printed it out. So she really loved them, and at some point in time, got the idea of designing some other ones for friends and family. And honestly, they make great gifts as well. This is, I think, Tinkerbell on here. This is the set I designed for my sister-in-law. You can see it's got the raised section there on the holder as well. And this is Japanese katakana letters uh, for Toyota. Uh, if, you're, you know, if you're a fan of Toyotas, uh, you're probably familiar with this logo. Uh, you'll see this on a lot of the parts, particularly on the older Toyotas in the United States. And same thing, this one also has the raised feature on the side. So even if you're not into Doctor Who, Tinkerbell, or uh, Katakana letters for Toyota, uh, what I really want to do is show you guys how easy these are to design and to make. You can really take anything. Uh, this is not all the ones that I've made. and I'll share all the ones that I have with you guys. I've probably done seven or eight at this point. But all you really need to do is, well, you know what, rather than try and explain it looking at the coaster, Let's go fire up SketchUp and I'll show you how to do it. All right, and here is a design for a number of these that I have made. And in fact, I think I was able to at least dig up all the ones that I showed you guys the physical prints for. We've got the, uh, the Tinkerbell one, the Doctor Who one, and the uh, Toyota and the Japanese Katakana letters. Uh, this is one I did for a friend of mine who is a blacksmith as a gift. And we've got a blank one down here on the end. So let's go ahead and make something uh, with this blank one. So first thing you do is find just an outline of the design uh, that's the look you're going for. So, uh, you know, if it was a strawberry or a star or whatever, you'd, you'd start with that. And you've got to make sure you find something that is really just an outline. So you notice, for example, for the Tinkerbell one, uh, I think I looked for clip art that was just pretty much a solid design that I knew would work for the coaster. And then I centered that in the coaster. But let's just go with something real simple just to show you guys how to do this. So I'll just drop a a polygon here and it doesn't have to be centered uh, depending on what design you're going for um, we'll go we'll do a little more centered than that we'll do there we go okay so uh, this is going to differ uh, how you actually execute this in your design software depending on what software you're using uh, i'm going to show you in sketchup because that is what i originally designed these coasters in uh, but all you've got to do is just basically draw an outline uh, from your base shape and you're going to do those in two and a half millimeter increments. So in SketchUp, I just pull outward in the direction I want to go. I type 2.5 and I'm just going to keep repeating that. Okay, so we've made a bit of a mess here to clean up since we've run into the edge. We're at the point now where we can start extruding these and we're actually going to extrude them down the same distance that each one of these is apart from each other, which is two and a half millimeters. So let's grab one, drop it two and a half, skip one, Drop the next two and a half, and we'll just keep repeating this until we get all the way out to the edge of the coaster. And there we go. Now we have a really exciting polygon coaster. Guys, as always, thanks for hanging out for this week's video. And I will make all of the STLs for these available on my site, fpfdesigns.com, including the blank one, so you guys can design your own. 
And in fact, every week I give away all the STLs for everything I feature on this channel. It's always linked down in the description of the video. So if you enjoyed this, if you found some usefulness, you know, even just in picking up any of the tips and tricks on how to do stuff like this, uh, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, helps out the video. And if you're really interested and this is your first time here on the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday.